In this video, I'm going to go over this figure. So I'll discuss pulmonary function, so what each of these volumes represents, and then how to obtain each of them using the Biopack software. So I've organized all of this into this table down here. So I'm just going to briefly discuss the material, and then I'll show you how to obtain each of these on the Biopack. So let's just start with the title volume. This is normal breathing in and out. So inhale, we increase volume. Exhale, we decrease volume. And this is under resting conditions. This larger peak is a large inhale followed by a large exhale. And then we return back to our normal breathing tidal volume. So the volume that your lungs have reserved for inspiration or inhaling is referred to as the IRV. And we can measure this using the delta tool going from the top of a typical inhale to the top of our maximum inhale. Now, the amount of air that we let out of our lungs during a max exhale is different than our normal exhale during tidal breathing. And we call this difference the ERV, or the expiratory reserve volume. So this is the volume that your lungs has reserved to expire or exhale. When you add these three values together, we get what's referred to as the vital capacity. And so this is the total amount of air that your lungs can take in and let out. And you'll measure this using the peak-to-peak -peak tool as you would the tidal volume. Whenever you include the residual volume, we refer to that as the total lung capacity. And the residual volume is the volume of air that stays within the pulmonary system, so in the lungs and in the trachea, um, and is not released even with a max exhale. So this volume of air resides and prevents the pulmonary system from collapsing on itself. Notice that the milliliters begins at zero, and we don't have negative values here. So again, this is the table to obtain all of these values. I'm going to open up the Biopack software and show you how to get each of them real quick. <clears throat> so this is lab 12. If you have the Biopack software downloaded, I'm going to use my highlight tool, and I'm going to highlight one normal breath. This is the tidal volume if I use the peak-to-peak -peak tool. So this is roughly one liter. I'm going to go ahead and get my delta T value here. OK, so if I wanted to know the breathing rate, then I could say the delta T is roughly 3.7 seconds for one breath. So one breath over 3.72 seconds times 60 seconds over one minute gives me my breathing rate. Alternatively, I could highlight one, two, or three breaths, for example, and then I would have three over 12.52 times 60. So that is how to get the breathing rate and the tidal volume. If I want to know the IRV, the inspiratory reserve volume, I'm going to highlight from the top of a normal breath and go to the top of my deep inhale. I'm going to use the delta tool here so I can say what is the difference between my starting point and my ending point in liters, and that is going to be roughly 2.33 liters. The IRV can be measured by going from the lowest point of the deep exhale to the lowest point of a normal exhale, and that value is going to be roughly 0 0.39 liters. Alternatively, I could go backwards to this tidal exhale to the deepest exhale, and I could take my deepest inhale and go to the following breath as well. So either of these delta values will give you the IRV or the ERV respectively. To get the FEV1, we would look at a forced exhale. We'd start where the exhale begins, and we would measure exactly one second, and you would see that in the delta T box over here, that would say 1.00. So if that ever says 1.00, you can bet that we will be looking for an FEV1. So that's the forced expiratory volume in one second. So you push air out really quickly. How much volume is it there? And you would see one second here, the delta value will give you that point. Because we're going from our starting point to our ending point. To determine the 
vital capacity, we will look at the deepest inhale and the deepest exhale and use the peak to peak tool and you see that it's roughly 4.32 liters and if I highlight anything more than that I get the same value because that is a peak and that is a peak. So as long as I include those values I'll get the same measurement up here in the analysis bar. To determine the residual volume we're going to use the minimum tool and so it is set at one liter. Notice if I highlight any more to the left or the right, the minimum value doesn't change because this is the lowest value on this figure. Similarly, I will look at the max value for the maximum inhale, and this will give me the total lung capacity. So my maximum value is 5.32 liters. So that minus the one liter that is set at the residual volume would give me the same thing here, the peak to peak 4.32 for the vital capacity. So you add the residual volume to the vital capacity and you get 5.32 which is the total lung capacity.